now had the chance to settle and to uh, get down to really the basics. Yes, well the Australian backs have seen precious little possession. They've been on a starvation diet. And the second half underway. And again the Lions have it. Set up by Hooker Moore. Andrew now gets around Goulet. It's a good high ball coming down on the 22. Williams going in. Knocked back by the Lions. Australia in trouble here. Second rower, Wade Dooley. Six feet eight, 17 and a half stone. Andrew now, field goal. And he's hooked it. Golden opportunity there for Rob Andrew. Superb opportunity created by the forwards. You can see the, the, the drive and the commitment of their forwards driving that ball infield closer to those posts. Andrew had the perfect setup. The right foot ball hooking around and pulled it away left. You can see the Lions really want this match. That first drive by their forwards there, they're really pushing hard together to get hold of that loose ball and make ground. Well, that kick by Andrew's gone too deep. Campisi. He's not finding touch. Ten from halfway. The Australians are all onside. Once the player runs five metres. Gavin Hastings kick. A good one. And the mark is paid for Greg Martin. Well, there's a man who's done everything asked of him today. He's gathered the ball coming forward on the ground on the run. Here he's done it high in the air and he's put the ball out on the full. Something the other kickers have uh, failed to do. David Sol arriving near impact. Very mobile for a front rower. And Greg Martin who's a self-professed nomadic handyman as he calls it. Almost a professional student. Lions here looking for their first short line out of the match. Wade Dooley, loosely. And pushing against Steve Tymon, it looks like, in the line out. So Hastings now, 45 metres out, has a chance to level the scores. It's looking back over a test series, Chris, uh, in the 80s, particularly against New Zealand. I think without uh, exception, it's always been decided in the third test. In other words, the series has been open. The other side has come back in the second. I think it's something we've come of age in our rugby, Gordon, but not that much of age that we can really uh, uh, sort of uh, pull down the shutters and close in for the kill on the one that we really need to put the series out of reach. The All Blacks have that uh, great ability to do it. Uh, the Lions have had that ability, uh, but Australia haven't yet sort of got that, uh, I don't know, that maturity. But we might see it today. So Gavin Hastings, the kick that can bring the two teams together on the scoreboard. Missing on the left, Liner's running it out, and Williams is outside. Ian Williams! He's beaten one tackle, he's still going, and he's away! Jones counters. Miller the tackler. And wasn't that superb play there from Liner and Williams? Exciting play by Australia there. Really starting to try to pick the pace of the game up. Up until now, the Lions have been controlling this game and went willing to slow it up, went to fasten it. The times there was all being controlled by the Lions, but Australia must pick the pace up. Williams has lost nearly a stone from last season, but his blue for track at, at Oxford University saw him run 10.8 for the 100 metres. Hart Hill at the front. He lost a head. Referee didn't spot it. Liner. Straight up the touchline. What a kick. Magical control from the cultured right boot of Michael Liner. That is one of the most difficult kicks in the game of rugby. The right-footed kick over the top of the packs in front of you to roll into touch. Perfected superbly by Michael Liner. Must have practiced it a million times, but there it was in a test match at Ballymore. Lions performing really well in the line-out. Ackford at the front and Richards a drive in with Moore. An eight metre sweep. Lawton comes in on T. And the referee awarding the penalty here to the Lions. And making sure that the 
players disentangle without incident. I don't think Mr Urkay could see that that ball had come free was, and was being played off the ground on this side, but uh, it's a good decision from that side. Gavin Hastings, a single-figure golfer, and his great sporting ambition is to play in a British Open. Again, that last line-out, that surge being, being put together by Richards coming around. Australia must look at the gap that Richards leaves open and send somebody through and put him on the deck while he's behind his forwards. Bill Campbell unopposed. That's Wade Dooley trying to wrench him to ground. And Australia have lost the ball. Something they didn't do last week. Taking it in and surrendering. Quick line out to Liner. Quick thinking there from Far Jones. Australia set up quickly. Here it comes. Lloyd Walker. Cut out now for Martin. Campisi's outside. Campisi. Hastings. And Evans there. The Lions defence across very quickly. And Australia not picking the ball up here. Now it's Goulet. Back over the 22. And the referee playing advantage there, I think. And he's going to have a scrum here. Australia's... No, it's gone the other Again. way, the Lions feed. This is the great continuity that Australia's been looking for. Gary Pearce said they must pick up the pace of the game, and they've done it here, whisking the ball wide. They know he's the danger man, the Lions, uh, that man Campisi, and they were quick for Collery. Yes, definite knock on there by Australia. And Jones has kicked, gaining only five metres. Port so Australia, Australia plays, plays shorter line-outs here, tries to disrupt that eight yeah. men for the Lions. When they start to spread out, there's the holes where Michael Liner and Nick Farr Jones can duck through and get the power of the back row to run onto it. Richards on the loose ball. His work rate is absolutely sensational for a big man. Giving Australia a toweling in the line-outs, even on their own ball in, they're not being able to win it or win it cleanly. Campisi, field goal attempt from 53 metres out. Not quite going through. And now Hastings with a short touch finder, 35 metres out from his goal line. Well, Lloyd Graham uh, can kick them from 55 metres out, but uh, not David Campisi. Well, he's done it and he did it here against the Lions playing for Queensland in 1971. 55 metres, but uh, that certainly would have brought the ground to light, that one from David Campisi, had it have gone over. Tommy Lawton throwing in his 40th international for Australia. Liner. Walker comes hard, over the advantage line. Good set up here for the Australians. Far Jones, slipped over. Lawton in quickly. Now what's the referee doing there? He's ruled that the players went to ground, and so Australia has the scrum feed. He's, he's ruling that the players collapsed. <laughs> Australia spending a lot of time down near the Lions 22 in this second half. Michael Liner to Maguire to Liner. Pass knocked on there. Ian Williams not holding on. The Lions read that one well too, forced the error. Referee playing advantage. Great defence by the Lions. It was the uh, the cut to Maguire with the double loop of Liner and Williams from this blind wing. It was a good move, but it just uh, failed to come off right at the last minute. Good defence by the Lions. The problem was Australia was running across field too much, and when Williams came across from his blind side wing, he ran at the same angle everybody else was running at. He needs to change the angle and the pace of the game to make that burst through. Referee ruling the ball was out. Hastings taking play to within seven metres of the halfway line. To date, the Lions have had problems with the ball that's gone to their back, so I think it's because of Rob Andrew. He's a very good counter-attacker and he likes to back up, so thus he tends to run across field and follow the ball that he passes. Thus he gets the rest of his centres running across field, just making him less effective in making the advantage line. See how Australia go on the line-out. Five-man line-out, that one. Liner. This time, too far. I suppose he proves he's human after all. Australia's second phase play hasn't been that good today. They've lost the ball a number of times when they've gone in. They need to consolidate that play, come back, get the confidence of their blockers and ripper in there, and start to control that second phase, phase game. I think because they haven't been getting that first phase ball from the line-out with uh, Miller plunging in the centres as he was last week. 
Jones in bother. Tyneman the tackler. Brian Moore. He's counted very well indeed. Sol charges ahead. Halfway line. Mike Teague. The Lions on the rampage here. Andrew. Low trajectory kick. 15 out from the Australian goal line. Copybook stuff there from the British Lions. Again, the man who made it all was Dean Richards. Robert Jones was in trouble and he came back and he mauled the ball off him, slipped to Moore and that started that forward roll. Australia attempting to pick the pace of the game up but have actually tended to move a little bit too wide. The Lions have come back, plunged up through the middle, now into the 22, looking very dangerous. Line-out ball's been untidy for Far Jones. Three scarlet jumpers there to drive him back. And Australia will be lucky to deliver here. In fact, they've lost it. Andrew now to Hastings. Big Scott Hastings, 13 and a half stone. Referee says play on. Jones, well and truly caught by the Australian defence. Can he slip it back? No. It is truly a sad commentary that the, uh, the Lions look all at sea at using the ball in their backs. When there's a try on, they just sink back towards the, uh, uh, the tight place. Scott Hastings, for the second time going back, just metres out from the line. Well, a decision there that puzzled the Australians. They drove Jones back, but the British Lions getting the scrum feed. Perhaps the referee was playing advantage. Twelve minutes elapsed. Second half, Australia leading 9-6. I suggest Richards will be a very important part of this next move here. Teague 2. Slipped it back to Calder, and the referee says it was slipped forward. It sure was. Beautiful move that time, Richards to Teague coming into the gap. But he let that ball go to Calder, who was already in front of him. And I would say uh, offside penalty, not offside unintentionally. Ruxon Malls, 6-1, second half to the Lions. So they've found the right formula with their pack. Australian 8 has been struggling in this game. Martin on his left foot. And taking play to the 22-metre line. Magnificent kick by Martin. They're really under pressure. The Australian pack going backwards. Good clearance by Far Jones, but Martin a perfect kick out to the 22. The chant of gold from this 25,000 crowd here at Ballymore for the second test. And it really is a gorgeous day. Richards at the back, not holding on. And the referee telling Michael Liner, I, I can see a knock on. There's no need to tell me. The back row game is so dependent on the performance of the type five. You see last week, Australia's back row is really on top. This week, you hardly ever see him except for some tremendous covering by, by Steve Tyler. That kick by Liner has gained nearly 40 metres. It was a godsend for the Australian forwards. Pull your head up out of a uh, scrum defending and you've been there for a while. You see one of those spiralling away. Really is that little lift that you need to keep going. But Australia haven't been doing well in the lineouts unless they push the ball completely free to straight to Far Jones. Their sweeping and their tidying up has left a little to be desired. Wade Dooley on the drive. Support play of Sol again a feature. And finally Judge Kick takes play to within 26 metres of the Australian goal line. Australia ahead by 9 points to 6, 15 minutes gone, second half. This Lions line out has been, uh, has been tremendous today and that's certainly up until the first test. Their control, their sweeping, they're able to move, make that 5 or 10 metres from every line out that they win the ball from. Australia needs to put people on the deck. Dean Richards, unopposed. He's had a magnificent game this afternoon. Hastings, well, Gus got badly wants the ball. He came as a decoy in Australia. Try to ruck it back. And Richards gets up very gingerly after winning that ball. 
Well, again, we see the disorganisation in the Lions' backs, but Australia not aware of where the ball is when it goes to ground. It's in a couple of occasions, the ball down, the Lions have been able to slip in behind and, uh, and foot it away. As our New Zealand viewers have, uh, would appreciate, that body height is so important. Australia's body height's been too high. Tight head here for the Lions. This is Hastings. They were without their number eight. Very good strike there by the hooker. And yeah, and Evans somehow got the ball away there onto the boot into touch. He played for Clonethley in 1984 as a 20-year-old against the Grand Slam Wallabies. And Clonethley won that day. So the referee spotting a knock-on there by one of the Reds. Timeman delivers. Long cut out here to Martin. Here's Lloyd Walker looping. Clever dummy and Williams in space. Williams chases hard. But the ball finding touch inside the 22. Well, very good skills there from Lloyd Walker, who supported. Well, one of the great skills of a setter is to be able to, once he's passed the ball, not to live any more than a metre off it. Lloyd Walker was able to distribute the ball and get around in that perfect position, throw the dummy and duck the ball in behind to Williams. It's that enthusiasm and eagerness the Australian team must call on now to really get these tries. Cutler, two-hander this time, a vital line-out, an offside play there by Ackford, number four. He came round on the wrong side, jumping for that ball. And Cutler was going to win it anyway. He said, enough of this pussy footing around. The game finally poised. Look at Ackford coming through that line out. That he was in the method of jumping for the ball, but he can't play at it. He certainly can't put his arm down and pick it up. That's what he's being penalised for. So both goal kickers have missed two shots today. Liner has two out of four. He's kicked one conversion and a penalty. But Liner has the chance now to put Australia back out to that six-point cushion. The Lions forwards have held sway. But uh, their use of the ball by the backs has been disappointing. Fifteen metres in, exactly. Twenty-one metres out. I think he's got it. He sure has. Liner's second penalty. Twelve points to six. Dwyer, usually fairly controlled, trying to urge his team on from the crowd. I mean, there's no way that they would hear what he's saying, but that's the uh, that's the, the feeling there within the team. They, they see a win in the series against the Lions at their doorstep. They want to take it. Look, the Australians can hold as Cutler swept to Lawton, and Tommy Lawton put his head down like a wild boar. Liner kick, miscued. 27 metres out. So the Lions down on the scoreboard, but still 21 minutes remaining. The Lions still looking very dangerous, Gordon. This tight five is really driving through the middle, and if this back row can win a bit more ball and roll it around, Australia can find themselves in big problems. Goulet tap back to Far Jones. Liner getting angle on that one. Over under its head. Sensational kick again. That is the class of probably the world's best 5'8". He was there, Huddy, in any room to move at all, but he was able to place the ball another 40, 30, 35 metres downfield. Liner at his best when he plays instinctively, and he's done exactly that in these two Look test matches. Way Dooley went high. He's the man who got it. It's five short of halfway. The line's rolling here. Get on, get on. Teague holding off. There's a big heave from the Australian pack and the ball spews out. Now it's Walker. Lloyd Walker finds an inroad. Back it goes to Miller. Australia try and set it up here. Far Jones has it. Numbers here for Australia. Maguire. 
Maguire does well. Still going to Martin and Campisi. Little shuffle. He lost it backwards. Miller's there. 25 metres out. Australia getting a surge on here. But Ackford wins the ball. Well, desperate morning there by Paul Ackford. Has saved a very dangerous situation for the Lions. Being able to step up that urgency now is a critical time for Australia. 20 minutes gone, 20 to go. They're six points in front. This is the time to really make the Lions feel the pressure. They have no options in their backs, the Lions, unfortunately. Their forwards are playing superbly, but their backs are not giving them any help at all. Axford's tap, loose to Jones. Tyneman and Goulet came through, and Australia has the ruck ball. The Lions are onside. Liners field goal. And he's pushed it wide. The idea was right. The execution was wrong. That would have been the nail, Gary Pearce. Yes, it would have. You've, if you got it, the crowd will go crazy. If not, it's bad luck. But Australia need more ball in the hand. When the ball's in the hand, the Lions are in trouble. When they haven't got it, they can't score the tries. It's that simple. Pressure by keeping the ball away from the Lions is the only way Australia must consolidate this match. Tyman two-hander. He was knocked though and lost it. The Lions counter. Underwood. Back to Andrew. Now they have the numbers. Guscott. Exciting runner this man. Guscott accelerates. He's through the gap. This could be a great Lions try. Outside is Evans. And a marvellous tackle by Williams. Australia gets out of danger and trouble as Far Jones clears. Well there, as we, say, as we say it, they make the break out on the far side. Still not knowing exactly what to do with the ball when they get it. Inside the Hastings, he's trying to get it wide, but that extra pace of Williams and Campisi, and then a great captain's knock from Nick Farr-Jones, gets them out of trouble. Well, there's a lesson to be learnt for the Lions, particularly uh, from a broken play situation like that. They do have some devastating runners out wide, and Gus got there, really exploded into space, and the try almost resulted. Australia can also learn from that piece of play. All the support was in depth from behind. All the breaks Australia has made to date has been trying to loop pass over the top to try and beat people. Last week it was Australia coming in from behind, supporting each other. They must come in deeper than what they are. They're too shallow. Far Jones, the man who intercepted that pass from Underwood, but was that the killing burst that the Lions have been looking for? They're only five metres out, and the ball's been lost ahead by one of their forwards. And Martin's left foot kick to the 10 metre line. No one really following for Australia. Evans has gone straight up. That takes the pressure off Australia. But Richards snatches the ball. Lovely pilfering from him. Teague. Richards to Jones and Andrew. Long cut out now for Hastings. Now it's Underwood. Underwood and Williams. Underwood for the line. Hastings is there. The ball lost forward. Well, look at that. The first time they've given this man a go on tour. Rory Underwood. He has the capacity to turn a game around. He got the ball firstly with a bit of room to move. Though Williams is fast. Underwood was strong. He tried to lay it back. It went forward. Australia must call on offensive tackles. They must go forward and put the Lions down. The defensive tackle is giving the Lions too much momentum. The Australians must have their front row and second row feet in the field of play. And that's a very good scrum. Teague was offside. And the referee, what's he doing? He's ruling a penalty. No try. The ball was still held by the number eight. Well, Teague cannot and break off there. He is offside immediately. This penalty should be to Australia. There is no reason to give a penalty to, uh, the, Lions. Uh, to the Lions. Teague it was so obvious in that, uh, in that uh, picture there. The Lions don't even know why the penalty's been given to them. There was no collapsing. There was no binding error. It was Teague clearly offside. The ball hadn't got out from the Australian feet. I think the referee's confused because he said to Teague, you were offside, but the penalty's gone to the Lions. This is Finlay Calder. Jones now. Can the Lions put it together? Evans is out wide. Campisi's in front. 
Martin lends support. Comes out for Lloyd Walker. And Lloyd Walker, who underplays his hand so well, has been in the vanguard of Australia's defence and attack. Some great play here matches. as the ball goes wide. But the defence is there. Plenty of yellow jumpers there. As all the backs get in there. You can see that Maguire's gone low. Lloyd Walker loops around the edge and just tucks the ball around the edge. 15 minutes to go. Richards at the back, lost a head by Sol, but the referee has spotted some Australian obstruction. Far Jones has booted the ball 40 metres downfield. And a chance now for Gavin Hastings to add a further three, or will it be Rob Andrew? Well, he said the Australian player came through the line out, was in an offside position, and is thus unable to play the ball. He is right. Depends on whether Cutler jumped for the ball, and he didn't. He steps across to the line side and pads the ball back. He's definitely offside. But then again, once the ball is deflected from the line out, the line out is over. Very dicey. The question is whether Steve Cutler really was on the other side of the line out when the ball was deflected. So Rob Andrew now. His first shot at goal. He's a real sharpshooter. Flags are up. 12 points to nine. It's been a titanic struggle here at Ballymore. And Andrew manages a little smile there to one of his teammates. The Lions have a great chance to keep this series alive. The Lions here will be looking for Teague and Richards to get to really win this game for them, as they've done up the first, first 70, 70 minutes of this game. It's quite important that Australia put those players on the ground. Well, the Lions now, if they can score a try, they'll be in front. Territory. It's all about territory. 15 minutes to go. Australia must contain the Lions in their own half. They've got to do it, and they must get better ball from the line out. Control, driving in close to the lines, keeping that ball off the lines. Cutler at the back to Far Jones. He's gone over the advantage line. This is Walker. He's managed to beat that first tackle, but the Lions get the drive on here. Ruck back. The Lions are fringing. Referee's waiting for advantage and gives the penalty to Australia. They weren't bound. And clearly offside. So I suppose you can over uh, or understand the over anxiousness and the enthusiasm of the Lions forwards. They're desperate at the moment, but that really was one that uh, could cost them dearly. Well, it's unfortunate in that situation that they'd gone 90% of the way there by driving through the middle and had Australia going backwards. This is just that last 10% that they didn't get right, and they were the fringes around the edge. At least the, uh, I was happy to see the penalty go to the right way that time. Went the wrong way, close to Australia's line. So Michael Liner, who's averaging 13 points in his 32 test matches, has a chance to take his tally to 11. Crowd are happy, but it hit the upright. Who wants it? Picked up by Hastings. Now it's Campisi. Straight into Evans. He's lacking support. Australian forward slow to get there. And flag up on the far side. I think the Lions always knew that David Campisi was going to try and run that ball back against them. Cutler pushed out of the line out. Now it's Walker. Maguire to Martin. And Australia back down to the 22. Intelligent play there by the Australian backs. The ball came wide. Martin in the line. He saw he was he might have had the extra man, but he popped the ball in behind to ensure the pressure stays on the lines of the 22. Back to this critical line out area. Australia has come back in the line outs in the second half. They lead overall now by 19 to 16 in that area. Ackford lost ahead there. But they've slipped it back. And Andrew, complimenting the good work by the forwards, takes it to within three metres of halfway. This is 
is where the Lions will be looking for this counter-attacking ability of Rob Andrew. He's in the team to try and open the options up for the Lions. He'll be relying on this, these four men in this line out to pop the ball back and make the ball alive to the rest of his, the rest of his backs. Cutler pushed out of the line out again. Tymon setting up well. And Liner with the Gary Owen coming down on the 22. Hastings there. Oh, bad mistake. Miller. Now Australia have their opportunity. Miller sets up. And a knock on by Australia. Tremendous drive here by Australia. Hastings not gathering the ball in. Miller doing well. Lays the ball back. Jones to Andrew. And again, the England 5-8 pumping that touchline successfully about 18 metres from the halfway line. Unfortunately, it wasn't Australia's put in there. It was Hastings that actually knocked the ball on first on from the catch. But now Australia, with this opportunity with the throw into the line out, can really put this pressure on and put this game beyond doubt. Australia by three points, 12 to 9. Far Jones does well. Walker again to Miller. Miller steps through. That's Dan Crowley, wrapped up by Richards. And a ferocious tackle from the big man. But Australia looking to slip it back. And Richards has helped set up the ball here for the Lions. They have numbers here. Hastings. Underwood's outside and he wants it desperately. Underwood now. Scott Hastings in support. It was okay, the pass. It looks suspicious. Scott Hastings in Campisi. Jones close to the line here. And Martin runs into touch. So the British Lions, eight minutes to go, have the chance to hit the lead for the first time in this second test. The great trust by the Lions that time, working in support of each other, desperate to keep the ball in, carried the ball deep, Campisi just hanging off until he could nail Hastings. Great opportunity now here with their trust from the line out. Australia clinging to a 12-9 lead, and Goulet comes out for Australia. But he lost the ball. Andrew. Guscott. Back it goes to Underwood. The Lions look to set it up. And the referee is given the penalty Australia's way. Looks as though there was something on the ground. And gee, that was desperately required by the Australians. Great defence. Ball. Sorry, Ball's come across here. Guscott's taken the ball up and he slips it back inside to Underwood who tries the crash. Liner takes him to the ground, but as the Australian players come in, it's Calder doesn't Underwood release was, the ball. Underwood, I think he's called as tackled and uh, not releasing. Well, that was a critical mistake by England's most cap wing, Rory Underwood. Every Australian player must have in his mind offensive tackling. They must go forward and put the Lions down. This running next to players and watching them isn't on. And that's what's putting the Lions back in the game. Cutler's standing at halfback here for Australia. More on the loose ball. So the ball's gone to ground. We'll have the scrum. Or smothering that one. So just seven and a half minutes to go. The fate of the Lions tour in the balance at the moment. The Lions will open themselves up here. They will be vulnerable because they'll be looking for their backs to try and get in that ball. Well, passing off the ground there by Robert Jones. He got away with it after he was tackled by Nick Farr Jones. He was tackled and then played the ball on the ground. He cannot have further to do with the ball until he gets back to his feet. Should have been a penalty, Australia. Well, Australia will be looking here for Michael Liner's experience at this ground and know every bump in it. Hastings in perfect position. He was waiting for the kick. Now he delivers, and it's gone to the wrong man as far as the Lions are concerned, Michael Liner. Look at the angle on this kick, and look at the results. Nearly down to the 10 metre line in British Lions territory. Another commanding performance by Michael Liner here this afternoon. He's broken the Lions' hearts. The Lions have tried hard through their forwards, but they haven't had the option of that back to all day. They've closed them out and haven't given them that spark to go forward. Far Jones well to Liner. 
now on his left foot that one has gone too far so the Lions are still breathing five minutes remaining Michael Liner really trying to put the Lions back on the defensive there Possession is so important here to both sides. The game can go any way. Ackford, a tower of strength at the front of the Lions line out this afternoon. His England teammate Teague in support. Underwood chases hard. Martin there. Martin on his chest. And happy to find the touchline. What a courageous catch by Martin. This guy has really got, really got it. He's up there high all the time. He's the man who makes the hit tackles. The ball goes up, Martin says it's my ball and nobody else's. Up he goes high, like an Aussie rules player. Now it's Andrew, Hastings, back into trouble. Calder, his captain from Scotland, mauls it back to Teague and Sol. Now they roll it through Moore. This is Teague, away to Jones. Underwood's outside, Underwood's inside. Goulet the tackler, great tackle it was too. Moore sets up, Finley Calder, away to Andrew, can they get it wide here, long cut out, the pass is okay, Hastings, Hastings is there, and the referee says yes, the Lions have been threatening to do it, and they've finally done it. We can see the ball's gone wide here. Jones has gone as far. Jones comes across and tries to wrap him up. Intelligent play. Change the angle. Get over the advantage line. Scott Goulet takes the high tackle there onto, onto Underwood. The ball comes back. Look at that commitment by the Lions as the ball goes in. Finley Calder over the top. The Lions for once are starting to run straight. Ball comes out wide and this man here, Hastings, really the big danger man in this Lions team, goes over for a try. What a morale boosting and insp inspirational effort there from the big fullback. And now Andrew. It's close, but not good enough. So one point the difference. 13 points to 12. Well, this really had to come. The Lions tight five and the back row were really mounting pressure. And it was really the skill of Hastings to be able to straighten that play up. Confirm that pressure. A great try. Two and a half minutes remaining. The Lions won't be looking to give any penalties away now in their half. But it's been a marvellous comeback by this touring team. They've hit the lead for the first time with less than five minutes remaining. Campisi not holding on. And the referee directly says not forward. So one and a half minutes to go. Rob Andrew will be looking for touch here to try and slow the pace of the game up. Australia will be sniffing and ferreting for every little bit of loose ball they can get hold of. Right. Gay and Evans follows. Campisi underneath. And he's knocked on again. Calder! Look at the men out wide here if they can slip it. Jones there. Australia in desperate straits here. The Lions threatening to score again. Guscott. He follows. Guscott! Yes! Jeremy Guscott. He scored three tries in his first test against Romania. And now in his first international for the British Lions, has sealed the match. The Bath Bricklayer has done it for the Lions. And the kick to come will put them out of sight. Well, it's a pressure game here. The ball is set up there as he chips the ball through. Great commitment by Guscott, and over he goes. But it really was the setup here. The pressure was on Campisi. He didn't handle it. The ball went to ground. Calder came and pushed it, and the forwards got hold of it. But it's Gus got catching the three and backs up too far, popping it in behind. Great try. Andrews adds the extras, and the Lions are home. Well, you can only say, well done, British Lions, because they've been behind the eight ball all day on the scoreboard, and they've finished with great character to hit the lead and well, the now have it by seven. The Lions have been able today to control the pace of the game and here they've pe picked it up that 30% up and that's what did it, it caught Australia watching rather than doing things. So it's all down to the Sydney Football Stadium and Dean Richards 
who must have been close to the best player on the field this afternoon, delivering back. And it will be a very happy British Lions tour party. Ten metres from halfway. The Australian forwards just haven't had that sense of urgency this afternoon. Walker spots the gap. But as a consequence, the Australian backs have seen only a starvation diet of possession. As this man gets up off the ground, Richards has had a bit of tower of strength at the back of the scrum today, combined with Teague. It's been magnificent play in the back row. Scrum's gone down. Jones to Martin. Time's up on the scoreboard. Martin follows. But Jones in the way. Well, there's about one minute remaining and Roger Utley and Ian McGeekin. They've come in for plenty of criticism from the British press and as well they might smile. Well, as you can see with Martin's eye there, there's going to be quite a bit of of stitching stitching thread used after this game. Australia has really taken a battering here. Been taking it around the ears, have been a very, very sore lot. Lions have put it to them, but finished on top using the skills. Dooley and Sol combining. Jones, the Welsh halfback, kicking again for his teammate Evans. And now the Lions can do no wrong. Frustration for the Australian camp. It's going to be a very intense week. The Lions will be going down to the Gold Coast. Get on him. Get on him. No match this week leading up to the third and deciding test. Liner cut out here for Maguire and Martin. Campisi and Williams. Underwood's not going to let him go. Moore comes in to tackle number two. See here, you can see the Lions in there that have been able to isolate Williams and try and get the ball. They get his fingers and his hands trying to get the ball back. And there it is. A jubilant British Lions side has squared the series, taking this second international by 19 points to 12. Well, the fans are streaming onto the pitch here. The Lions scoring two tries to one, Gavin Hastings and Jeremy Guscott. Those two tries came in the last five minutes of the game. The championship period. Rob Andrew, one conversion and one penalty goal. He also kicked a field goal and one penalty goal there to Gavin Hastings. That's uh, Scott Hastings, his younger brother. And for Australia, Greg Martin, giving the Australians a wonderful start after 18 minutes of the first half. Michael Liner, a conversion, two penalty goals. Liner today, three from six. And for the Lions, Hastings, one from three. And Rob Andrew, two from three. So the British Lions pack really paved the way this afternoon. The Rucks and Malls went their way by 29 to 12. Lineouts Australia, 23 22. Also a tight head to the Lions. The scrum feeds they had, 11 10. And the penalties favoured Australia by 10 to 8. Let's now go down to Chris Handy, who's with uh, what we reveal is the man of the match, Dean Richards. Well, Dean Richards, it was a game that had to be won, and it had to be won up front. Were you pleased with the la way the lads uh, responded? Obviously, yes. Uh, the lads put everything into it, and I think it paid dividends in the end. It was a difficult last week. The size of the loss to Australia last week was it difficult to sort of get the team back up there. Obviously, yes. When you lose by such a, such a margin, it's very, very difficult to get the morale back. The lads fought hard early on, and I think uh, the only played dividends yet again. I say that again, but it's, it's hard work which, which counts. And the lads came back, and they won. You, pay, you bear the scars of a fairly uh, rugged forward battle. Was it tougher than you thought it would be out there, or was? Well, uh, I've played Australia five times in the last three years now and uh, it's no easy contest against the Australians. The match in Sydney, do you feel it'll be played with the same team that won today and in the same spirit? I, can't, I, I wouldn't like to say. Uh, a lot depends on injuries and how people uh, fare throughout the week. So. Well, congratulations and we'll see you in Sydney. All the best. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, a wonderful game from the big Leicester number eight the England number eight and the Lions number eight. He had a storming game here this afternoon. 
There it is, the Lions two tries to one, two penalty goals apiece, and a drop goal to Andrew. 19 points to 12, those two tries coming in the last five minutes. And after looking at Dean Richards' lip, you can understand why that fan kissed him on the cheek, Gary Pearce. <laughs> he certainly had a big game. You can see really the real commitment and pride and ruthlessness of the...